<laughs> yes. Now then, here we are. When I say we, it's a proper we. <laughs> we've got Blue, we've got Andy, and look at this fella, you already recognise him. <laughs> He's in another video, and if you've not seen that video, that's me and him chatting a load of life talk, and I'll put it up there, or up there. But check that one out. Anyway, we are on a wild camp on a very cold night. It's gonna be definitely below freezing on the top of Great End, which is up there. And we're heading straight up the band to the top as well, which is quite a tricky ascent. It's steep, possibly a bit slip here and there, but I'm with a couple of big guys. If I injure myself, they'll carry me back down. <laughs> All good. Anyway, we're gonna work our way up and then get our tents pitched on the top and show you a bit of new gear. And hopefully we're gonna be warm enough. What a day! We've had a few really heavy showers. You can see Great Gable there, just completely covered in there with rain. Back down to the town, can't really see it. But we're just filling up with a bit of water before we <laughs> head up the very steep section to the summit. Oh dear mate, <laughs> bit of water eh? Lovely yeah, good Lake District weather. <laughs> To say it gave like clear sunshine all day. It's not supposed to be easy. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what a day. Although, regardless of weather, it still makes you smile getting out here. <laughs> That's my old. He's, he's happy, look at that. Loving it. <laughs> there we go. Four thumbs up and one more. 
Well, that's the easy bit done. We've just left the path and now we're heading straight up the earth, up the band. And this is where the slog really does start. I'll tell you what, it's worth the effort. Just look at that sun. Just kissing all that valley bottom there. Beautiful. And a dog to match. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, that's better. Bit of freedom. Some wind to my lugs. It is quite nice now, mate, yeah. Once that bloody rain stops. Because <laughs> we're, we're on the shoulder there, we're quite sheltered from the wind as well, aren't we? It's a moody one, it's just starting to hail slightly now. You can just see it falling down over Great Gable there in sort of long bands of water. And then coming around this way, a little bit clear in the middle. Yeah. And on this far side here, look at that, absolutely piling through. Oh. Anyway, we need to keep on tramming on up this climb. And I just mess about for a minute with camera and these guys are way off ahead of me yeah hailstones are coming now <laughs> this is going to be an interesting night ow you're going to feel that on your legs mate <laughs> this is proper weather now aye Uh, there's not much shelter around here. <laughs> Bloody hell. Where's dog? Yeah. Here. Well, Find us. here, Blue, come here. Oh. Get out of this hill. Not that way, you daft get. Come on, down here. Come on, down here. Good boy, Stan. I'd like to see the weather, but for this here, it's clear after that. No, I'm out with forecast and rain. What do you say? You'd like to meet the weatherman? Yeah. Who said it would be clear this afternoon? Oh, this is going to be an interesting yeah, well, ten it, minutes. If you do meet him, poke him eye from me. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody yeah. weather man, eh? I didn't realise that a weather forecast, clear, big round yellow thing means hail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Well this is prime example of not packing for the weather forecast, but just packing just in case making sure you've got the kit to suit so luckily we've all got our Gore-Tex jackets on and we've all got a set of waterproof bottoms but we haven't put them on <laughs> which sometimes is a good decision just to keep you moving faster but as soon as you get wet you get cold luckily for me tonight I've got some amazing down bottoms to put on so I'm going to be lovely and warm once I'm up there just looking down sprinkling town and because the weather gave sunshine all day there's a hell of a lot of people out who are getting caught in this and many not in the right gear at all Hopefully everyone survives nice and down. <laughs> Bloody hell, look at this though. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Comfort in a nice relaxing walk, he said. <laughs> in the sunshine. <laughs> I didn't plan this one. <laughs> I think it was down to you this one, eh? 
Yeah. We're all here because of him ah, suffering. So. Andy. Andy's <laughs> fault. <laughs> I've never done great sun before, he said. I wouldn't have it any other way, I mean. That's it. Oh dear. Right. Up the really technical bit now. These hailstones are getting bigger though. Oh, some more black. Old stealthy boy here. Man in black. Never goes out of fashion. No. <laughs> That's what it's about. Stop and taking that view. Even on a day like today. Exactly that. Slushy, slushy stuff on the ground. It's getting slippy, isn't it? Yeah, it is getting a bit slippy, really. We're not far off now. Like you'd never think this time of year you'd need some spikes. No. <laughs> it's just opened up now. Look at that. Where are you? Oh, oh, I can't get this off. <laughs> oh. no, I have to be careful because I catch my beard in my zip. <laughs> yeah. I was just saying there to sigh, but. I've got, I didn't bother putting my gloves on because I don't want to get them wet when my hands are already wet and my bottoms I'd sort of gone past the point of sort of pointless really putting my waterproof bottoms on because I'm just trapping in all that moisture so I'm going to suffer now get in my tent and then at least I've got some nice dry gloves to put on and I've also got some waterproof bottoms which I can put over my down bottoms if I need so I've still got some dry kit if I need to get off this mountain that's my thinking anyway Not too far off, no. No, no, we're near the, near the summit now. It's not easy this actually. Gotta be careful when putting my feet. Because it's getting pretty slippy. Summit of Great End, 910 meters. It works for every one of them. That is a first log, mate, isn't it? Jeez. Tough fish yet, but worth it. <laughs> so worth it. Yeah. I had no idea it was this flat. I yeah, it's awesome. It's a really flat um, summit. I see, what, like. I see what you mean by being exposed. Yeah, up here. the it wind. Yeah. It's just piles over here, yeah. That was going to cramp. <laughs> That's a slot. Ah, oh, dear. Luckily, there's plenty of places to pitch. It's not like you're trying to yeah. search for a place and waste time, especially in cold weather like this. Come on, son. Oh. Come on, son. Oh. Take that, that off and look there. Got the sunshine just trying. God, I hope it comes out. The dryer's out a little bit. <sighs> that was tough. That was a proper challenge, that, in that weather. 
And look at this, it's completely covered. Anyway, I'm gonna pitch our tent somewhere here and get ourselves warm. Oh, look at this, boys. This is nuts, this, isn't it? Look at that, that is just so atmospheric. How good is that? <laughs> wow. You couldn't have made it up. That is just perfection. Just wow. Superb, like absolutely superb. Awesome. Right, let's get these tents up then. It took all three of us to get the tent up. There's not a chance I'd have been able to do that on my own. Hands pretty much gone. Can't feel my sort of fingers and just putting pegs in or sorting any of that out would have been impossible on my own. We've got two tents between us, but we decided just to stick with that one tent for the minute, get ourselves sorted, get warm. We've got Sai who's just up in the summit shelter there, just changing his trousers, sorting himself out. andy has gone for a wander over that direction. And I've been doing a few laps running, just trying to warm my body up a bit. So once I sort of get a bit of blood back into my fingers and I can move these a bit better, I'm gonna get my bag open and get all my lovely down gear on and get nice and warm. But just look at that. It just completely blew over. All that hail went and we have just opened up heaven that's what we do we've opened up heaven Warming up now. That's it. One red jelly baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that'll keep you warm anyway. Oh, it is nice. He's got all his gear on. I've done a few laps, feeling a bit warmer, so I think it's my turn. Get my down jacket on. That's better. Full down suit on. Fully warm again. Fingers all back. Just taking in this view with Sai. Looking at the sunset, really. Stunning night after that atrocious weather getting up here <laughs> and fighting really against the cold just to survive and get ourselves a tent, a shelter ready to be able to survive the night. But have you noticed, I si, when it's rained, these are all icy now. Yeah, they are, aye. Eh? It's so, already starting to freeze. It's uh, definitely below freezing now. We're like twins, aren't we? Twins to different mothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very much so. Yeah, that's it. Uh, brilliant. Oh, it's 
it's nice nice now we've got fresh gear on like oh what a difference and i'll tell you what it's worth packing some decent quality down gear just to give you that cuddle while you're up here because i bloody needed it and i'll tell you what if i didn't get warm because i'm sleeping with, with him in tent tonight i'll be cuddling him if i didn't have this on <laughs> <laughs> count yourself lucky mate <laughs> uh, anyway he's just walked over with a beer so i'm gonna go get a beer and join him <laughs> oh dear i don't know who's fondest you what dog so my idea was to do i wanted to do a sunset and a sunrise on the same mountain so i was gonna do scarfell pike so i'll put a stick up on <clears throat> i thought but i'll travel light and the biggest mistake i didn't bring a sleeping bag because i thought it was, it was like 25 degrees during the day uh -huh. be fine and i got me sleeping man and i started shaking oh really <laughs> I'm shaking i'm like it's only half past 10. you know these big plastic survival bags yeah it was in my rucksack oh that'll do yeah got in that yeah yeah perfect so yeah. got in that put it right over my head Honestly, it just warmed up no problem. Yeah. But I was surprised at how much cold it was. How, how, for July. Yeah, yeah. I was surprised how cold it was. Like the last time I camped here, um, I didn't even sleep in my sleeping bag. Yeah. I was I just slept on the mat because it was that warm. Yeah. And um, but tonight you come back and it's absolutely Baltic. And he's been on this summit in. <laughs> well, yeah. It's that Storm Arwen one, that was I'll 100 mile an hour, wasn't it? Is that what it was, Peter Storm yep. Arwen, look here. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Like, this is it, right here. Right. A tent this size, you would have struggled to dare putting this up on your own, wouldn't you? Oh, God, yeah. You? Oh, yeah. With the, with the way you that your hands want, were and stuff. Person, this I would not have been able to put this tent up on my own today, no. in that situation. I'd have had to... I'd have probably got in that little summit um, shelter, got my down gear on, Yeah. if it was kept dry which it did luckily yeah. and I'd have just sat there sorted myself out gone for a little jog got myself warm and then I thought about it yeah if I didn't get warm I'll be straight back down off yeah, this mountain straight back down uh... well again down to your hands in it yeah if your hands don't work none of your kit works no so once, once we put this yeah. up, once we put up this up tonight my hands I couldn't even unclip one of my dry, dry bags yeah, I, I, yeah do it, it? I was yeah, struggling to do it. My main dry bag with all my gear in, yeah. in there, I couldn't, I couldn't get it unclipped because I yeah. couldn't feel my thumb. I was <laughs> laughing that it was three of us pitching a tent, and I'd look over and I'd like say to and they'd be like, "Have you got any more pegs?" And he'd be literally just <laughs> in his own little world, <laughs> you know, fumbling about, yeah, <laughs> like, somewhere. Oh uh, yeah, I think I want a peg. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll say to you like, you know, oh, have we pegged that side out. Yeah, uh, yeah, I okay, think I'll, so. <laughs> yeah. As it's flapping around yeah. all over the place. I know people think, oh, you're in the lakes, and compared to the really oh. high mountains, oh, you're only it's 900 not false meters. But it, it, yeah. can go, it can go wrong quickly, because like the, really uh, quickly. I'm doing a, a two day training course in Kern Gorms, and the company I did, I'm doing it with, I did a navigation course in February of here. Yeah. <clears throat> From uh, Borrowdale. Oh, yeah. We, we, we headed for uh, Glaramara. Glaramara, yeah. And so he was all around there. And the guy who did it was from Mountain Rescue. Mm. And there was a guy, he was only just the week before, a guy up here on Scarfell, got lost. We managed to contact the, the services. So right, lost him, just to help. What did he do? He moved, didn't he? Yeah. So when they got to his location, he'd gone. He had I. Uh, so what I remember. Said, there were 70 people out looking for him. There was. And then they called off the circus to the weather and it was getting dark. And then they resumed the day after. It was half past two in the afternoon when they found him yeah. in a gully somewhere. And they said if we hadn't found him then, that would have been it. He was on Broad Crag when he first rang and they told him because of where he was and how tricky it is to navigate around there to do don't move stay, stay put we'll, yeah. we'll be with you don't move because so, if you do move it's so, it's so it hard anywhere, to find you from there um, that you understand. and he i and he, he did he moved and he'll never be as lucky he'll struggle to ever be as lucky yeah. again because he survived the <laughs> night somehow with 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 not no enough shelter. gear you know not no, no shelter, shelter no sleeping that. Bag, nothing um and he ended up down by piers gill i think when they eventually found him 
But it's happening in our people die up here. Yeah. It's great to see lots of people up in the mountains. Just you, you just you just like hope that if yeah. it's the first time doing it, you just hope that eventually they'll like learn to yeah. have have some gear and be some. Because everyone has to start somewhere. Ninety-five percent of the time, or more there. than, you know, you'll come into mountains in not really adequate kit. Yeah. But you'll be all right. Yeah. You know, you'll get right. by. But it's like today. We, anyone could have got caught out today. Oh yeah. You know, we were almost caught out in a yeah. way. Well, especially when you're camping. So there's a big. Yeah. I think there's a huge difference between. I've been out yeah. in some in some nasty conditions where I probably didn't have enough stuff with me on a day hike. But you, you just keep moving yeah. and you're going back to the car and stuff at the end. Yeah. But when you're camping, if you get caught out. And you and you're sleeping up here I've been, for the I've night. I've been caught out. I remember you, once. You can be ill. It was it, we were camping up at uh, was many years ago. This we were camping up at Buttermy on the campsite. <clears throat> I'm looking at the map. So we got so far. We think right to get a bike. We just need to go straight up and straight back down to yeah. uh, uh, to uh, uh, to Buttermy, Right, mm. easy. I thought I was on the right path. Right, so we started coming down, and it's like. It was like shale, like uh, like off like screen, screen. Yeah. yeah. Clouds suddenly clears. That's not bottom here. <laughs> and I couldn't work out where we were. Back to bottom here. And I went, he looked at me. I went, it's over there, isn't it? I went, yeah, right over the top. Yeah. He said, look, it was a pickup, but the cab was full. He said, if you don't mind jumping up back, he said, I'll take you to the near where the bothy bothy is. Oh it's yeah. Back sail. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'll take you as far as I can. He said, look, just walk up there, drop down. Uh, back over Scarf Gap. You'll come back down to the bottom here. Yeah. It's just straight walk back. Thanks very much. But I'd, I didn't take a head torch from there because I was out for, just out for a day's walk. Yeah. My phone, my, my battery on my phone was dying, so I had no lights. It was getting later and later, and obviously the light was fading. But I mean, look at me, you know, we got back all right. <laughs> Well, we've had a cold night, we would say. It, it said it was going to be minus two with a wind chill of minus 12, and it has definitely been that. I'd probably say it's less than minus two now. Yeah, because it, what time was it when we were freezing up rocks over there? 
10 o'clock. Half no, seven. Uh, no, that was like 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Yeah. That yeah. before that. So even early doors, the rain from earlier was actually freezing on the rocks and obviously it's going to get colder. So yeah, it's one of them nights, eh? Mm. Uh, it's been a cool one, like. But it's been a, been a beautiful night up here tonight. Fantastic, hasn't it, really? Yeah, stars are out. We've had Sai in his um, cheap down jacket, yeah. but it's done the job. And what are they, Columbia? Columbia insulated trousers. Insulated trousers. Yeah. He's been pretty much sorted. I've got my PhD down jacket on and bottoms. I'm toasty warm, for definite. <laughs> and um, he's got about 15 layers on there. Be more layers than onion. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'll show you. Go on, then. Hang on. One. Oh. Two. Three. <laughs> four. <laughs> five. Five. <laughs> and a manly hairy chest under it. Six. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Anyway, that's done him fine tonight, but he is definitely saying that he needs a decent set of down bottoms, which will, definitely. in this sort of wind chill, 100% worth buying. You know, just makes this camp game comfortable. Changer. It game is game changer. changer. That's exactly it, game changer. Get some decent down bottoms so you can actually stand outside and just yeah, enjoy, enjoy. Yeah. you know, taking in the views. Look how clear it was tonight. Yeah, not, not taking in the out. stars taking in the lights of Sellafield. Uh -huh. He works there. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm blown. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's actually only like 15 years old, but look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Big grey beard going on and all that. Man child. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's been absolutely awesome. That uh, walk up tonight was just as cold as you get. I, I feel we were in sort of survival mode when we got to the top because my hands just did not work. I I couldn't do anything. I and, couldn't undo my laces on my yeah. boots. And talking to him, we're like, he was he was just literally just a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, will you put a peg in there? He's just like, oh yeah yeah. yeah. And then he'll do it, but then he'll just sit and like blowing his hands for another sort of ten minutes. But it, it was it, yeah, it was it tough. Was brutal. You, you don't get a colder sort of um, night out like that, no. do you know what I mean? Unbelievable rail really. storms my, my, my coming up the band. Yeah. My coldest night out, by far. Coldest night? Coldest yeah. world welcome, by far. Yeah. yeah. Yes, anyway, we need to survive the night. I'm yeah. actually sleeping in, this is my sleeping bag, my down jacket, my down bottoms, and I have got just a bivy bag and that is it. So I'm sleeping in a bivy bag, in this, no sleeping bag. So, a good test of the kit. He's got an absolutely awesome sleeping bag, which is rated to... Minus nine. Minus nine, all right, you'll be happy then. Yeah. And you've got a Rab Ascent 900. Yeah, which will do Plus me. all that if you want to wear it. Yeah, I won't be. Yeah, <laughs> big beard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to be happy as well. So anyway, we'll see what happens. And we'll see you in the morning. Take care.
take that was. Morning flowers. Well, we've just left camp over there, still in the shade. And we're heading up just onto this top section just to take in the sunrise. On cue, there she is. Wow. That's amazing. That is just incredible, isn't it? Yeah. What a place to be. Look at this. How did he sleep? So so. So so. Not too bad so, until that middle of the night and then I felt the cold. Put another layer on, no problem at all. But yeah, I felt it in the night. Yeah. About two, three o'clock. Cold. <laughs> what were you say? No, I slept pretty good to be honest. The usual tossing and turning, a bit turning sides, but yeah, slept well. So he had um Thermarest mat, uh, Exterm, as I did. You got the Rapid SL yeah. from Big Agnes. Big Agnes. So three decent quality mats there. Sleeping bag wise, he had an OEX one, which was rated down to minus 12. Minus nine. Minus nine, which obviously isn't minus nine because he were cold. He had a RAV one, which was- Ascent 900. Ascent 900, which is a brilliant bag actually, I've got to say. Yeah, I've read off in that. Yeah, toasty warm. And then I just slept in this. So just this jacket on and these trousers with some, um, what are they, uh, socks, insulated socks with down socks as well, all from PH Designs. And I slept in their bib bivy bag. And that was it. And I was toasty warm all night as well. So it just shows you sleeping attire. It doesn't really matter what you choose in a way. It's just making sure that it's rated correctly. And that's proof that OEX isn't. So there you go. Anyway, back to that. dropping down into one of the gullies that comes off Great End just to have a look down it's got the two gully sides which are just framing the view <laughs> there, is. there he is all right let's get back to safety eh? and back up there just sorting out some water and then these are trousers I've got to put on today look at them <laughs> stiff so I'm have to snap my leg to get them on they're actually loosening up a bit in sunshine and this is melting off a bit as well 
clear skies all day. Look at that. These two are all packed up, ready to go. I've still got a tent here because I'm staying for another night and I think I'm gonna just pitch in the same place rather than packing it away and then setting off and going somewhere else. I'm gonna go on an adventure and just enjoy this beautiful sunshine. What a fantastic day. Anyway, camping wise, this was his highest camp. Decent, eh? Highest one, coldest one, hardest one to get up to. But so worth it. Exactly. I'll tell you what, yesterday, coming up with them hailstones, that was as hard as I've ever had. You know what I mean? Oh, it was awful. I think with the weight of his sack, rucksacks as well, many worse. Yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah. And we all got up here, and we were just like, right, let's just get this big tent up. All of us just looking at each other, like, not knowing where to start, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's just absolutely knackered. So, awesome. yeah. So worth it. What can it today? Exactly Plenty that. Worth it. So it was punishing. Yeah, it was. But character building. <laughs> Is that what you call it? Good Cumbrian, yeah. good Cumbrian conditions, them. Character building, but these two came up here were like brown beers yesterday. Look at them. <laughs> 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 anyway, there's heading off back down, and uh, yeah, it's been awesome, boys. Absolutely loved it. Best one yet. Yeah. Superb. Awesome Hopefully, mate. we'll get out for another one. Yeah, we'll do. It's in some worse conditions than this. Bring it on. Yeah. Bring it on. Awesome. Anyway, if you've uh, enjoyed the video, as always, give it a big fat thumbs up. Join the Patreon, which these two are both a member of, and you can buy me a coffee in the buy me a coffee link, all in the description. And any links to any kit that I've got, like the PH Designs kit and tents and everything like that, that'll also be down there. So, from me, the beautiful blue, and these two grey rugs. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Class man. Always a pleasure out. <laughs>